Dear friends, what's in the name? This week we will start reading the new book of Shemos, referred to as Exodus. This book talks mostly about the slavery of the Jews in Egypt and the entire process of the exodus of the Jewish people from slavery in the land of Egypt. That's why many people refer to this book as Exodus. But in Hebrew we call it Shemos, which means names. And though it is the second word of this book, of the first verse of this book, why would we call a book by names that has no reference to the great miracle of the Exodus that we all know the story so well? <clears throat> and perhaps there's an incredible message here. And as we are told, while the Jews were in Egypt and were for tens of years in slavery, the Jewish people lost a lot of the specialty of being Jewish, their faith in God, they started to worship idols, they lost the traditions, the mitzvahs, even circumcision was not kept in Egypt. So by the time the Jews were well into their slavery, <clears throat> there was no resemblance of them being Jewish. But yet, somehow a Jewish nation was able to be formed to be taken out of Egypt. What kept them as a people? What kept them together and separate from the Egyptians besides just being slaves? And the answer is Shemos names. And we are told, the Medrash tells us, that there are three things that the Jews obstinately kept while they were in Egypt. One is their names. They always kept Jewish names. They never adopted the Egyptian names of those around them. <clears throat> Secondly, their language. Amongst each other, they always spoke Hebrew. And thirdly, their dress, their mode of dress was not immoral and provocative like the Egyptians around them. It was more modest, the Jewish way. And these three things, though they are very external, they were very crucial to keeping the people and their identity as unique, that everyone who saw them, Jew and Gentile, knew that they were part of this Jewish family, the Jewish people. And this is so important to us today as well. We live in a time when we're only 14 million amongst 8 billion people. We live in a sea of a world that wants us to assimilate and to join them and to be fully part of their lives and fully mix with them, intermarry, <clears throat> and just be the same as they are. And it's so easy to get caught up in the workplace, in universities, within this environment when we're such a small minority. What helps us keep us apart to remember we are Jewish, we are special, we have a mission in life. We have to believe in the same thing. We have to behave in a certain way. Sometimes it's the most external thing. Your Jewish name. If you carry your Jewish name with you and other people use it, wherever you go, you and they will know clearly that you are a Jew. And that helps strengthen who you are to make the right decisions, to always be proud of what you are and who you are, and stick together as a Jewish people. And so it is with language and so it is with dress. And this is what the Torah tells us, Shemos, names. How do we deserve an exodus? How do we stay together as a people? How do we keep continuity of the Jewish people? Hold your Jewish name. Many years ago when I was in Las Vegas, getting Chabad started in Las Vegas in 1991, <clears throat> We were searching out for families. I heard about a young family that just moved into a development and I knocked on the door on a Sunday morning and a fellow opened up the door just wearing a pair of shorts and I say, we're Chabad rabbis here to meet Jews. We'd love to meet you and your family. Could we sit for a few minutes? And he said, sure, let me call my kids. And he starts calling Rachel, Yehuda, Shimon, Ruven. And I'm listening to him and I tell my friend, uh, maybe he just forgot his yarmulke and sits us in his bedroom. This guy must be religious with such Jewish names. And when we sit around the table, we realize quickly that this man was a very secular Jew in his behavior. And I asked him, why did you give your kids Jewish names? And he said, my wife and I decided we may not be religious, but we're proud to be Jewish. And my kids will be in public school. How will they know that they're Jewish? So we gave them one name only. And that's the name that they will carry forever. And this is so important. We all have a Jewish name. Cherish your Jewish name. Start with your family members. Let them call you by your Jewish name. Besides the fact that the name is a conduit for blessing and energy and life, 
It helps strengthen our identity. Your children, as they go to school, let them carry their Jewish name with them proudly. This will help them stay within the fold and will help keep Jewish continuity strong. I want to wish you all a Shabbat Shalom. And candlelighting time in Montreal is 427 this Shabbat.